the most important lesson I will take away from Effie is definitely her strength um, and her her bravery. I think she's such a powerful woman and she goes through a lot in the show, um, but she doesn't stop. And I think that's something that we all need a little bit of. Yeah, um, she's strong. Yeah, that's okay. um, I definitely say for me, Mine kind of relates to my character, Dina, in terms of not forgetting who was a part of your career, who was there from the beginning. Um, as you said before, in your question before, like about family and knowing who supported you from day one and, you know, having that sisterhood with people and especially when it comes to Dina and Effie's relationship, um, never forgetting that because sometimes you can get lost away when you need the people the most and they're not there. You kind of regret that, so. Um, I think for me, um, Laurel is such a larger than life, bubbly, funny character. And I think she's taught me to just feel things like completely. So when she feels things, it's big. Like when she's happy, she's really happy. When she's sad, she's <laughs> really sad. When she's angry, she's really angry. And I think sometimes I shied away from those kind of emotions in myself. So d being able to do that on stage every night, I'm able to just live all of the emotions to the fullest. And also the whole fact that you don't need a man to like survive yeah. you don't need a man to be happy <laughs> like you can be an independent woman and do it by yourself so yeah, yeah. <laughs> um being part of dream girls is incredible um it first came out on broadway in the 80s um and to tell a show to tell a story um in today's society um about a group of young black women that are fighting for their own voice is uh, amazing. Um, it's an incredible um, show to be a part of. It's it's a kind of one of my dream shows, so just being able to actually be in the show and get to be a part of it, um, to see all the characters come to life, it's an incredible journey. Um. Yeah, I love being part of the show. I think especially because um, well, like when the film came out, I remember like me and my mum rushing to go to the cinema to watch it, and I was like, what, 11, 12 back then. So to um, be doing it now, night after night, it's incredible. Um, one of the main themes of the show is family and relationships. So I think one of the main things that I'd love people to take away from the show is to still dream big, still have your hopes, still have your dreams, but keep your family, maintain your relationships along the way and don't lose sight of who you are because it's so important to grow and change, but also love the people around you and treat them right. And also to just have a great night, have fun, because it's a great show, yeah. it's a great night out. So yeah, those two things together. Um, people should come and see the show because we deal with so many issues. We deal with feminism, we deal with weight issues, we deal with race, um, and it's a feel-good show that essentially brings everything back down to family um, and um, having a support system um, in place so that you feel as though you're empowered to have your own voice. It's a feel-good show and the music's amazing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want them to be able to take away a sense of togetherness, um, being together with each other, having good relationships with each other, um, and also just to be able to come in and watch a show and kind of let your worries kind of go away when you come into this space. And it's a safe space to be able to kind of just be here and just let all your worries kind of go. So I would love them to be able to come and have that be relaxed and to really, really take in the entire show as it is. So my favourite song in the show changes nightly, like by venue. Um, right now it's One Night Only, the slow version into the disco version. Um, I love the transition into the girls' like disco version um, and it's the whole theme of our show, the soul music into pop and mainstream. So that is my favourite song right now. My favourite, I think for me, would be um, I Am Changing. I just love hearing either um, Charlene or Nicole sing that. And I think she's, like, within the story, like Effie's obviously been kicked out of the group. It's been seven years, she's had a baby and she wants to try and get back into the music industry. And just <coughs> hearing the growth from act one to act two, it's, I love it. Um, mine's actually the same as well, I Am Changing. Um, I just love the, the lyrics. 
um, behind the song and the meaning behind the song, um, and it speaks to me on a personal level, so it's one of my favorites. Um, for me, it is uh, family. Uh, again, it's um, a coming together of everybody um, and a reassurance that no matter what is happening in the moment, um, us together can get through anything. We definitely say it's about the hardships of being a black performer and wanting to make it in the industry and being accepted from like a wider audience because it's harder to appeal to them when crossing over to the pop chart. So things like changing your look, your hair, the sound of your music, you know, wanting to cross over to mainstream, you know, charts is harder because you have to change all of that. Um, so I guess the fact that we're in this position to be able to do that and to inspire people that you can because it relates to people and artists to this day, doesn't it? So, yeah. mm. um, to be able to portray that and show that yes, it comes with its ups and downs and trials and tribulations, but you know, it's definitely worth it in the end. Um, how I got into the role? Well, um, I had about four or five um, auditions, around two thousand. This time last year, actually. Um, so you yeah, had about three or four or five rounds and then um, we started rehearsals in November last year, um, which were tough. It was like, long, like really long days, especially for us like male ensemble, the show is so full on. Um, but, um, any advice? I would just say to believe in yourself, to keep pushing, to remember to, you're always learning. No, like when you leave college, like just, it doesn't stop there. Um, I'm still learning now and I've left college a while now. So, um, just to always stay on top of your craft as well, um, yeah. Again, I also had a few auditions before I was able to get the role, um, and the process itself, again, has been um, up and down, but I'm seeing it more as a way for me to kind of learn. Um, it's teaching me a lot about the industry, it's teaching me a lot about myself and what I'm capable of. Um, and for anyone who's wanting to um, get into doing this, um, again, it's the same. Just keep going. Um, keep on top of what you're doing. Keep checking in with yourself, both, you know, whether it's physical, um, mental and everything. Just keep checking in with yourself. Um, but continue to believe that you can actually do it and believe that you can make it if it's right for you. So just, yeah, keep going. Follow your dreams. Absolutely, you know, if you, if you have a dream, um, don't allow anyone to um, blow your light out of mm. your candle. Just have your focus, stay focused on that, um, and, and hopefully at some point you will succeed. Mm.